Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss poultry slaughtering. Basically, the term poultry refers to domestic fowl birds, rare for their flesh, eggs, or feeders. But normally, the domestic birds are the chickens, duck, geese, turkey, and pigeons. The most commonly rare are chicken and turkey. Why poultry meat is important? Poultry meat is a good source of protein and has a lipid content and low calorific value. It is palatable, tender and easily digestible. So if we discuss the properties of poultry meat, it is high in protein, low in fat, excellent source of essential amino acids, also a good source of minerals like Phosphorus, iron, copper, zinc, vitamin B12, B6. Dark meat and skin are higher in fat in comparison to white meat. The most common terms used in the field of poultry processing are abattoir. It is basically a food factory where all the operations are dictated by the standards of hygiene and animal welfare. It aims at producing wholesome meat for the consumers in the most humane way possible. What is carcass? Carcass is harvested breast animal wherein the hide, hooves, head, and internal organs are removed. We often hear the term lariage. What is lariage? Lariage is basically place where the animals are rested before slaughtering to preserve enough glycogen to be converted into lactic acid. Here is the picture of carcass and shankles. Okay, what is slaughtering? Slaughtering basically refers to killing of domestic livestock. The slaughter involves some initial cutting, opening of the major body cavities to remove the entrails but usually leaving the carcass in one piece. Later, this one piece carcass is usually butchered into small cuts. Slaughtering is usually done by two methods, traditional method and modern method. What are the traditional methods? Traditional method followed by Jews is called kosher method. In this method only sheep, goat, cattle, deer and poultry are slaughtered. Meat should not contain any blood vessels. And meat should not be preserved for more than three days. Muslims follow halal method where pork is prohibited, no blood should be left in the carcass. Sikhs follow jatka method where head is completely removed in a single stroke. Some pre-slaughtering factors affecting the slaughtering process are environmental factors like temperature and humidity. Improper resting time given to birds. Feeding of birds. Stress the face during loading and unloading. And feeling of strangeness due to new place. These factors can lead to conditions like DFD which renders meat dark, firm and dry or an extreme opposite PSC which renders meat pale, soft and exudative. Let's discuss modern method of slaughtering. First, procurement is done by judging the age of the bird by feeling the liability 
of the posterior portion of the breast by fingers. Then the bird is shifted to lariat, where resting period of about 6 hours is provided to the bird in order to preserve the glycogen residues. After that, slaughtering process. Next stage is entire mortem inspection, where birds are checked for obvious evidence of disease, extreme amication, and lump formation on the body parts. After this inspection completes, stunning is done. Usually by using three methods, using a rubber bolt, electrical stunning or suffocating the bird using carbon dioxide. Then next stage is sticking. Sticking is done to facilitate the blooding, uh, bleeding of the bird and is done by three methods. In manual method, a cut is made to the ventral side of the neck up to the ear and the jugular vein is cut. Another method in which stockering cones are used. The bird is dropped in the revolving cone with sharp ends which facilitate neck cutting. Another is box method where birds are passed through the box with the rotating knife at the other end. Then bird is allowed to bled for two minutes. About 60% blood is lost in the sticking process. 20 to 25% remains under viscera and 10% remains in the carcass. After bleeding stage completes, scalding is done. It is the process of dipping birds into hot water to facilitate removal of hair follicles. It is done by dip scalding or spray scalding. After scalding, picking is done where feathers are removed from the skin of the bird either manually using your hands or using blunt knife or through mechanical methods. Small pens, pen like feather are removed using knife and this is called pinning. Small feather which remain attached to the epidermis are usually removed using a flame. This process is called singeing. Singeing is usually done by flaming the surface for sterilization, cleaning and to achieve uniform and neat appearance of carcass. After this, vaceration and a venting stage comes. A vaceration is basically removal of viscera, crop, neck and also the fecal matter matter that remains in the lower intestine portion. All these things are removed from the carcass and after that, that carcass is immediately washed. After this, post-mortem inspection is done where carcass is examined externally for the signs of disease, abnormalities, damages, bruises, tumors, wounds. Liver and spleen is also examined for consistency of texture and color changes. After this inspection stage completes, washing is done where the dressed carcass is washed again with clean water sprays preferably at 10 to 15 degrees centigrade. 
after the carcass is washed using cold water this carcass is chilled in chilling tank in order to achieve an internal temperature of 4 degrees centigrade this process usually takes about half an hour after chilling this carcass <clears throat> is moved to braining racks where excessive water is removed and this process usually takes about 10 minutes then come the stage of grading breast carcass is then graded depending on many factors like their conformation physical appearance degree of flushing bruises cuts and other quality attributes then carcass is packed according to their grades using shrink packages under cool conditions after this the dress chicken can be stored at refrigeration temperature slightly temp uh, temperature slightly lower than refrigeration temperature at about 2 degrees centigrade for a period of 7 days if you want to uh, keep it for a longer period then this breast chicken is usually deep freezed at minus 18 to minus 20 degrees centigrade and at this temperature it can be stored for the period of about 4 to 6 months here is a flow chart of processing poultry birds thank you